We're seeing and hearing more and more from clients and prospects asking questions about millennials. Who are they? How to target them? What's the difference between them and, and other generations and other segmentations? Uh, what are the myths? Uh, there's so much in the media uh, written about millennials, there's so many um, untruths spoken. There's nasty labels out there, you know, developing through to snowflakes and the being work shy and the love of smashed avocados and lots of cliches out there. So we really wanted to get underneath the skin of that today and help brands and organisations understand uh, who are millennials, can we even use that label and how to effectively communicate with them. Today we looked at um, what a good day at work is for millennials and whether they are experiencing pressure which is different from other generations. We looked at quite a lot of data that we have um, around what causes pressure in the workplace and we did find that millennials are having significantly fewer good days at work than other generations. Um, and what we found um, also in the analysis was that um, millennials have two areas which are pressuring them more than other generations. What we were talking about today was uh, not really addressing the millennial context as such, but just recognising that young people today and young adults today, uh, including those within the millennial age group, are living in an age of what we might call media and communication saturation. So there is, you know, news and content feeds available 24-7 and we believe that's created a real problem for brands looking to engage with consumers, millennials or otherwise, in a meaningful and productive way. Uh, so my talk was really not necessarily about banishing the myths about millennials but not relying too heavily on generalisations, so looking beyond the label and making sure that we complement the um, intelligence that we have around millennials with a bit of insight that's specific to different audiences and, and categories. Make sure you don't rely on lazy generalisations, it's impossible, so while it's helpful to kind of look at the context of a, a, a generational group, it's really critical that you look beyond, beyond the veneer and kind of get some insights that are specific to a category or a, a segment within that audience.